This is the new single system from Calder, and like most of our products, it was designed to solve a problem that we came up with while we were actually fishing. In this case, we wanted a single bank stick system that was evenly spaced, perfectly straight every single time. And anyone that fishes single bank sticks will know what an absolute nightmare it is, getting them all in absolutely perfect, so they're all straight, so the rods are splayed perfectly. It can take ages at the start of the session to do it. This solves all those problems and makes it even more stable than any other system that you can use. So to talk to you about the different components of it, first of all, it's basically two buzz bars with six uprights in this case, because I'm fishing three rods, two spikes that go in the ground and two fixed stabilizers. And to put it together, you basically get a separate T-bar that takes the force of pushing the whole thing into the ground. So you use the spike that ends up in the ground on the bottom of the T-bar, you make a pilot hole. You can even tap that in with a mallet if you want to, if the ground's really stubborn pull it out when it's nine tenths of the way into the ground, unscrew it, and then screw it into the bottom of the buzz bar, putting the stabiliser on first, and that basically locks it all into position. Then your three uprights go on. In this case, I'm using the longest ones in the range because I want the rods jacked up in the air. And then basically you use the pilot hole that you've just made to push the whole thing into the ground. The stabiliser obviously makes its first hole, so it keeps everything nice and tight. You can tap it down with a mallet if you want to as well on the stabiliser, or sometimes I'll push it in just with the bottom of my feet in the buzz bars. And because you're only pushing it in that little way, there's no risk of ever bending anything. And then moving on to the back one, I've done exactly the same thing, but on the back, I've used an extension to the spike. So all the bits that you buy, you should be using for years to come, and then you'll just add little bits to the system to make it more and more versatile. So I've added an extension onto that spike because the ground here is quite soft at the back, and I've basically, again, used the T-bar, made my pilot hole nine tenths of the way, unscrewed it, screwed that straight into the buzz bar at the back, obviously put in the stabiliser on first to lock it in position. And then in this case, I'm using the medium uprights on the back, and I've extended them just a little tiny bit to get everything nice and level, and just to jack the rods up a little bit at the back so that the real handles are just off the floor. And what we found is that most people use their rods in exactly the same configuration every single time they go fishing. So you don't need to adjust the width because you fish them splayed almost the same way every single time. And by not having an adjustment there, it just makes everything absolutely rock solid. The other thing about the system is you can take the front uprights off and put them on the back, so have the rods up higher at the back, put the, the medium uprights onto the front, so the rods are basically pointing down. And that's how I fish them a lot of the time. I'm fishing with slack lines, tips are almost touching the surface. And when I'm playing a fish, I'm playing it on top of the slack lines. In this situation, I'm fishing like 85 yards out. It's 20 foot deep underneath the rod tips. So I've jacked the rods up in the air. The lines are going out in the surface layers for a fair bit. So when I'm playing a fish, there's no line underneath the rods and there's nothing to get caught up in. So it's very versatile with the same set of uprights. You can fish them jacked right up in the air or pointing right down to the water's edge. With the buzz bars, there's four different widths. So this one, I've got a nine and a half back and a 10 and a half front. And where I fish them quite close together, that's got a nice splay on the rods. And the guys, we've had them all out the front of corner, just basically testing what they use. And it's amazing how similar everyone is with their splay. There is an actual tighter one, so you could have an eight and a half back, which brings the reels even closer together. And then if you want a nice splay, a nine and a half front, you could use the 10 and a half front and splay them even further. And the biggest one is, is an 11 and a half inch front, which splays them even more. So you could fish, if you wanted the whole thing wider apart, you could fish 11 and a half inches at the front, 10 and a half inches at the back. You'll still get a little splay to them and the reels are that little bit wider apart. If we get a call for even wider ones still, we will do them. But the whole idea is to keep the whole range as compact as possible. So four three rod buzzer bars, there's four two rod buzzer bars as well, so with two rods you can have them really, really close together or splayed slightly further apart. And there's one other set of uprights which are really, really short. Some of the guys in our team want to fish their rods really low, so what they would do is have the medium one at the back that I've got here, but they'd have a really short one at the front, so the rods are really close to the deck and basically the tips are only just touching the water. And that makes the whole thing really versatile. Once you've bought these uprights, you keep them forever. If you then decide that you want to fish the rods really low, then you buy the smaller ones, add that to the system, and everything fits together. 
And then if you're not fishing on gravel, if you're not fishing on mud or anything like that, if you've got stages in front of your swims where you've got wood, I've even fished these things on concrete when we were fishing in Holland last year, you use exactly the same system, minus the spike, minus the stabiliser, and there's a lovely little stage stand that basically screws into the wood and then the, the buzzer bars just basically drop into that and it looks absolutely stunning. I've been using something of this kind for probably, I would say six or seven years now. I had a set made just for me. When I started using them, because they were super stable and they looked so good, it would literally stop anglers in their tracks and they're like, what is that? You know, and I tell them about the system, they obviously want one, but we've not up until now found the right manufacturer to make them. We've been out to the Far East, had two or three different sets made at a huge expense, and there was something wrong with all of them. And that's why they've not become commercially available until now. I'm very pleased to say that Jag Products are now making this for us in the UK. So it's absolutely tip top standard, the best stainless. And also we've got the mines at Jag actually working out better ways to do it. So they've changed the buzzer bar system around. So if you didn't want to use this system and you just wanted to use them as buzzer bars, maybe you've got your rods right out in the water on really long bank sticks, then the same buzzer bars will work from that. And rather than screwing the buzzer into the upright, you would screw it straight into the buzzer bar as normal. So we've tried to make it as versatile as possible. And one little extra tip for all you tackle tarts out there, because you can adjust the sticks individually, even if the bottom isn't exactly flat and the tips are slightly off, you can move the adjustable uprights up just a tiny, tiny bit, get the tips level every single time, which for people like me with OCD is extremely important. So it is a big investment, but you are going to use exactly the same components for years and years, and you can just build onto the system to suit the different fishing that you do as you develop as a carp angler. So we're very, very proud of it. We're very proud to be working with JAG and it's going to be out this spring.